Uh, we'll get going. I'll call the meeting to order and ask uh, Michelle to call the roll, please. Marie Blosh. Present. Alan Dale. Present. Don Edmiston. Anna Hopkins. Here. Tony Jackson. Here. Sandy Levin. Here. Nancy Manning. Here. Hugh McDermott. Paul Mitchell. Here. Anna Marie Murray. Oh, yeah. Oops. Brian Petrie. I am here. Jim Raffle. Here. Joe Salter. Here. Mark Schadenberg. Here. Alex Westman. Here. Here. Thank you. Okay. So can I get uh, Marie to move and Anna to second approval of the agenda? Yes, I will move the agenda. This is Marie. And I second Anna. Any alterations to the agenda? Seeing no blue hands up and I see Anna Marie has joined us. So can we, um, Michelle, call the roll on approval of the agenda, please? Marie Blanche? Yes. Alan Dale? Yes. Anna Hopkins? Yes. Tony Jackson? Yes. Sandy Levin? Yes. Nancy Manning? Yes. Paul Mitchell? Yes. Anna Marie Murray? Yes. Brian Petrie? Yes. Jim Raffle? Jim? Jim's mute, unmute. There we go, yes. Joe Salter? Yes. Mark Schadenberg? Yes. And Alex Westman? Yes. Are there any declarations of conflict of interest? Seeing and hearing none, we'll go on to item three, the proposed hiring process for the GM position. As everyone knows, uh, Ian's given us notice of his retirement and he, we will certainly miss him, but we need to embark on selecting a successor. In the report that's before you, it's a suggestion that we go with the current hearings committee it's not etched in stone, so certainly this uh, board meeting is to discuss that. And as well, uh, Sharon's already been working very hard on uh, moving forward on this hiring process. There is a, a job uh, description to be posted as soon as Monday, if uh, agreeable, and a fairly aggressive timeline to have an offer out to somebody by middle of March. Uh, certainly if we hire somebody from outside the watershed, getting somebody on board will take a little longer than that. But uh, as uh, mentioned, it's fairly aggressive. Um, hence the speed of this special meeting. So uh, I'll open it to discussion before asking for the uh, recommendation to be put on the floor just because I don't want anybody to feel that uh, it's being jammed in any way, uh, shape, or form. Looking for any blue hands. Ah, Paul? And then Anna? Thanks, Andy. My question is about, it's, the recommendation is for the current hearings committee. I believe the membership of that committee hasn't changed in two years. But there is a chance that it could change at the AGM, um, which would be in the middle of the process after uh, resumes coming in, but probably before interviews. So does current committee mean the hearings committee as of today or at the point where uh, the committee is doing interviews? Uh, 
No, it was intended to be the current one so that there wouldn't be the, the concern about change. Okay, that's good. Thanks, Cindy. Okay, Anna? Uh, yes, and I just want to say, just as disappointing as, as it is with Ian leaving, I know we have to move forward, and I do have a couple questions, and thank you for clarifying that it is the current hearings committee. I'd like to make sure that the members of that hearing committee are okay with that uh, at, at this meeting, but I uh, also want to understand and if there are any concerns from board members that would like to be on part of the process. I think now's the time to have that conversation. And uh, so I would encourage hearing from other board members. And also uh, wanting to understand the, uh, the committee would uh, select a candidate and then that candidate would go to the board for approval. I want to understand that process. And then I want to confirm and understand that uh, when Ian is leaving, I understand it's April, but just trying to see how the transition in my mind will work as we move forward. Thank you. Just a few questions there. Sure. Yeah. Ultimately, the decision is of the board, not the hiring committee. The intent is that a hiring committee would make a recommendation to the board and certainly would work with the board on an ongoing basis in terms of you know, getting ideas from the board as to kind of questions to ask and the like. Uh, but thinking that a group of five, which uh, is fairly good cross section of the watershed, would be about the right size of a committee for doing hiring. Um, and in terms of transition, uh, part of it really is going to be a matter of who is the individual that gets hired whether it's an internal candidate or an external candidate. Ian has expressed to me, and Ian's on the call and he can clarify, that uh, he is flexible in terms of his departure. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping that there'll be an opportunity for him to transition with the incoming candidate in some way, shape or form, but uh, that's hard to predict at, at the beginning of the process. Uh, have I touched on all your questions, Anna? I know you wanted to hear from the board on their feelings and the uh, members of the current hiring committee. Yeah, uh, and just to curious. get that further clarification, thank you for that, Mr. Chair, uh, that the, uh, the committee will uh, make a recommendation then to the board and then the board just endorses it. I understand there will be a process and communication back and forth, but I'm, I'm just not sure how that is going to work, uh, given the timelines. Just further clarification on that. So this, the, the, this uh, standing committee, the selection committee will meet, go through the candidates, and come up with a candidate that they will recommend to the board for endorsement. That, that's the intent. Okay. You know, the, the committee, uh, the intention is for the committee to have its initial meeting uh, a week from yesterday to review timelines, confidentiality, interview format, review a list of potential questions. Certainly if board members have uh, thoughts around potential questions, uh, that would be helpful for the committee to receive directly from members of the board. Um, certainly I would see uh, an ongoing communication back and forth. But again, a lot of that, um, you know, there's the issue of the confidentiality that mm -hmm. we want to retain. So, um, you know, it's the idea is you've, you're empowering the selection committee to do the majority of this work. Thank you for that. And like I said, if there's any interest from other board members um, or concerns, I. I'm open to hearing their comments. So Here you go, Bobby. Welcome you. Uh, Tony, you've got a hand up. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah thank you, Mr. Chair. Just, just want to ask to make sure that we can have... Uh, I'm, hearing, I'm hearing other things in the background. Hopefully you can yeah. still hear me here. So anyway, uh, just... Yeah, no, 
I think you, we uh, set up the, no, it's back here. It's okay, just a sec. I, I just want to make sure that we're circulated um, on the uh, on the posting for the job. Are you asking to have it circulated I'll before the go back. Okay. Yes, yes, I am, Mr. Chair. And if you could, in, in case there's any questions of directors about the position or whatever, as it's circulating amongst the community, it would be nice to know what's on the posting. So you want that circulated to the members of the board? Correct. And what would you like the members of the board to do, just to have it? Oh, just just for knowledge, just for okay. just for information. So that's it. Okay. All right. Yep, that's certainly easy to do. Thank you. Uh, Anna, you also asked, um, you know, would members of the current uh, hearings committee uh, be available to serve this role? I know Tony has told me yes. Marie has said yes to me. Um, this is an opportunity for, for Brian to, to comment on that, and I believe Alan, you've said yes as well. So, um, Brian, are you uh, interested in serving in this role? Absolutely, I signed up for the hearings committee and this is one of the roles for that, so absolutely. Okay. Thank you. I'm looking for other hands from other members of the board. Okay, in that case, can I get... Uh, uh, oh, Sandy, sorry. sorry. Yeah, sorry, Alan. <clears throat> no, that's okay. Um, just sitting here thinking about a few things. And um, we've, we've talked about the involvement of the board members. I'm just wondering about the involvement of staff. Um, I, I have no concerns over the, the capability of staff to be involved with this. I just want to make sure that they are comfortable in their role. I, I've seen organizations where um, HR people are, are quite happy to be involved with hiring all of the employees except for the person at the top because that will ultimately be their boss. So I just want to make sure that there's no um, issues or hesitations on the part of the staff and their involvement in this process. So, Alan, are you specifically speaking to, to Sharon's role as the HR administrator, or Prim other? primarily? Um, I, I see also where another we're going to we're going to get a manager who doesn't apply to sort of review the applications as well. I, I I'm assuming there wouldn't be a uh, problem finding a person to do that, but uh, I thought I'd ask the question anyway just to confirm that. Um, Sharon, do you want to speak to that? Sure. I have no hesitation. I, I did it 17 years ago and I've done it a few times now for the Pioneer Village with, in the similar type of a role. So I don't have any issues with it. Um, that manager could be the general manager um, reviewing it. That's what happened okay. before. It yep. depends on their availability really. Oh, okay, yeah, that, that, I never thought about Ian doing it, but yeah, that makes, uh, <laughs> makes yeah. a lot of sense. Yeah. And. Uh, yeah, again, I have no, no doubts about the capability and your experience in doing this. I just know with other organizations that um, sometimes an HR person says, gee, I'd rather not, <laughs> not be involved with that process, but uh, you've done it before, you know what you're doing, that's great, thank you. Okay, Mark? Yeah, thanks, I put my hand up because I, I know you want to select the best uh, person for the uh, position. But sometimes you offer X number of dollars and, and that person won't take the job for X number of dollars or, or isn't willing to. Will our committee, the, the board therefore, have a decision on how much is being offered to, to the best candidate for the job? Or is that something that we just stick with a selection committee? There must there'll be a ceiling, I'm sure, but um, how would that process work? Yeah, that's a good question. I think, um, I mean, there is a, a, a range for the position. And certainly, I mean, my guess would be if we have to exceed that, we'd have to come back to the board. Uh, Sharon, could you give us some advice in that? Because uh, one of the challenges I did notice by looking at the sunshine list is where 
our range is compared to what other general managers are making and it might become a challenge. Uh, hard to say up front, but uh, Sharon, your thoughts on this? Yes, from every survey, salary survey I've seen, we are in the very low end of what general managers are earning. Um, and as, as everything in our policy would say that it has to be paid between those rates, anything that does current grid, I, anything beyond that would have to be a, a special board approval, I would assume. Yeah, Mark? That's fine, that's the answer I was uh, seeking, Sandy, thanks. Okay. Uh, just checking, Ellen, you have a hand up again or is that uh, left over? No, it's just left over. Okay. Looking for other hands? See none, let's get the uh, recommendation on the floor then. Paul, can I ask you to move it and Brian to second? And we approve the recommendations as presented in the report. I see Anna's hand up. I don't know if that's current or. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Anna. Yeah, thank you. And uh, I, I guess I can wait until the uh, motion is put on the floor to make a comment or I can make it now. Uh, you've got the floor, go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And uh, with the uh, motion coming forward, uh, I have confidence in the current adherence committee to become the selection committee and uh, thank them for uh, the work that's about to unfold and uh, wish them all the best. Thank you, Anna. We intend to do our best for, on behalf of the board. So looking again through the list to see if there's any hands. Seeing none, can I ask that Paul move it and Brian second the recommendation? So moved. So seconded. Thank you. Uh, further discussion on the motion? Seeing, oh, Marie. I see you're on mute, but I see, uh, here we go, thank you. And then yeah, Brian. I just have a little bit of problem unmuting myself sometimes. Um, yeah, now that it's on the floor, I just wanted to raise the issue of um, the proposed uh, advertising on the various job boards, if that's going to be um, broad enough, or if there's somewhere else um, in a public administration kind of um, board I mean, I don't know, I'm just asking. I'm a little concerned that um, I mean, we get enough applicants and with a really restricted timeline, I mean, it's, it's very aggressive for this type of position. And I'm just hoping that this really is um, gonna be broad enough to get a, you know, an adequate number of applicants. Because I'd hate to be in the position of saying, well, you know, we didn't really get enough um, and we have to repost it again. Fair enough, Sharon? Can you respond, please? Hey, Mr. Chair. Um, as far as that's all I could come up with, as far as um, suggestions, when you see the one that's posted for the Canada Job Bank, that's across Canada. The work cabin is across Canada. And anything that's posted on the um, Canada Job Bank is also picked up by Indeed. Um, it's picked up by various other job posting sites because we're often getting resumes in for quoting that they saw it on certain sites that we never posted it on. So even Workopolis and things like that, we'll pick it up from the job bank. So that, that gets into quite a wide scope of places. And along with municipal world, that gets it to all the municipal, I, I, I would suspect it's a very broad um, place to post as well. Marie? Okay. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I, I guess that was the concern to make sure it's going out like um, widely. Also, I was looking at Indeed, because I know that's popular, um, and I, it's free to post it, but there is a fee to sponsor it per click, and I was wondering if that was something um, that should be considered. I can certainly yeah. take a look at it. Yeah. I. I'm not sure how it works, but it looked like you set a budget or something and then you paid on number of clicks and whether that moves it 
I mean, there's so many jobs on that site, so I don't know if that moves it up a little bit or I don't know, just a, just a, just a, just a thought. Okay, thank you. Okay, Brian. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, along the same lines, uh, have we looked into uh, executive search teams, uh, headhunters, that sort of thing, to uh, actively find a candidate? Uh, I know they charge they do charge quite a fee, uh, but that's their their motivation and job, especially to hire hiring someone uh, qualified and quickly. Yeah, it's a good question. I, I've asked Sharon that, and Sharon, could you re respond to Brian and the board on that one? Yes, I've I've had no experience with that. Um, my suspicions would be is that we will have a number of applicants. I don't think there's going to be an issue. We we I've never seen it where we don't have enough candidates for any position that we post for. Um, it's a, a good place to work. We have quite a good reputation, so it it should be you know, enticing for people to come, but I don't know for sure. Brian? Sorry, yeah, uh, no, that's that's fair enough. And I guess if we get down the situation where there is nobody applying, uh, which I doubt, um, then we can always look at alternative uh, routes forward. Um, just quickly on another note, uh, I wanna thank the board by the sounds of it for putting their, their uh, uh, their confidence in the hearings committee. I can tell you from my uh, role on there, I take this very seriously. We've been very lucky to have Ian on the board or leading the, leading the, the organization very competently. So we've been very lucky um, that way. So uh, I will be, personally, I'll be looking for someone who can try to fill those shoes um, and bring that same culture to the workplace because I think that's very important. So thank you very much for uh, allowing us to do this. Any other speakers? I think all of us can echo what Brian had said about Ian. Uh, we'll have lots of opportunities to thank him and then other opportunities to say goodbye. Uh, it doesn't feel real quite yet. Any other speakers? Seeing none, can uh, Michelle, could you call the roll on the recommendation that is the current hiring committee, I'm uh, sorry, hiring, yeah, hearings committee, uh, be the selection committee for the position of general manager. Are we, uh, are we calling the roll just on both recommendations or just the first one? Uh, I believe both were moved, so. Okay. But uh, I don't know, I'll ask the board, do you want them called separately? The second recommendation is simply that the report serve as a term of reference for the selection committee. Oh. I don't it's see me. any. Sorry, it's me and um, I would just say let's vote on them together. All righty, Paul? Yeah, I, I moved the recommendation. That was my intention that we vote on them together. Yeah. All righty. Makes sense. All right, Michelle, could you call the roll then on both recommendations, Part A and B? Uh, Marie Blosh? Yes. Alan Dale? Yes. Anna Hopkins? Yes. Tony Jackson? Yes. Sandy Levin? Yes. Nancy Manning? Yes. Hugh McDermott? Oh, he's not here, sorry. Oh, he is here, Hugh. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I think he dropped off again. Uh -oh. I don't see his name on the list. Okay. I'll make a note of that. Uh, Paul Mitchell? Yes. Anna Marie Murray? Yes. Brian Petrie? Yes. Jim Ruffle? Yes. Joe Salter? Yes. Mark Schadenberg? Yes. Alex Westman? Yes. Did I skip you, Sandy? I think so. <laughs> Sandy Levin? Yes. <laughs> okay. uh, motion passes. Uh, before we adjourn, uh, Sharon, I ask that uh, we follow up on Tony's suggestion that the 
members of the board get the job posting so that they have a, they have a look at it as well just to, for their records along with the position description sure So can Jim, could you move adjournment? I see no other business. I so okay. move. Okay, sorry, I didn't mean to cut. Mark, did you have a hand up? Yeah, I guess my quick question, Sandy, would be uh, the, the concerns to what the timetable might be for a media release on all of this, uh, Ian's uh, retirement and, and the fact that the board will be looking for a, for a new general manager. Because obviously that'll help in the process as well as far as uh, flushing out some uh, good resumes. Oh, good point. Because uh, Ian, Ian didn't want a media release. He felt that a lot of the information was, was going to get out there. But certainly the idea of having a release about seeking a replacement would get the word out. <coughs> so, uh, Ian, uh, would you work with uh, your staff in getting something like that out? Uh, about the same time as the posting goes up? Uh, yeah, certainly. That's a, that's a different take on the, the purpose of a media release, Mark. So that, that makes sense. And Sandy, I'll work with staff to make sure we have something for next week. Thank you. Uh, Paul, I saw your hand too. Yeah, my question was very similar to Mark, and I, I think it's important to be, uh, could there be a separate or, or even specifically send that media release to each of the municipalities to, to make sure that they all know that what's going on. Ian, did you catch that? Uh, a bit of it was broken up, but uh, my assumption is to target the, the municipalities and certainly in any circulation, we will we'll make sure it goes directly to them. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Ian. Okay, I better look for one more <laughs> round of hands before I ask for adjournment. So Mark, is that your hand again or left over? It's left over, sorry. Okay, that's all right. Seeing no other hands, so uh, Jim, could you move a German again? I'll wait 10 seconds. Yeah, so moved. Idea. So moved. All righty, thank you everybody. Thank you. Appreciate it. And look forward to seeing you at the next uh, regular meeting on the uh, 26th and the hearings committee next week. All right, take care everybody. You too, thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Bye everyone.